This is this is a uh, this is a rough daf. Just uh, not so much hard. Like what? I said yay. No, it is a lot. You muted yourself. You're muted. Hold on. There's a lot of hashkafa, a lot of major hashkafa in this, uh, in tonight's stuff. Okay, so we start on the bottom. Hey, Yaakov, bottom. Who's, whose phone are you using? Because I'm muting everybody. Ah, I just muted Liner. It's like, what's yeah. wrong with him? He didn't mute himself. Okay, I just Paris, muted Paris. Everybody. Can you come here and mute Liner right here? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Not enough a... money in the world for that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're using NL. Okay, got it. Tonight I'm using NL because my internet, I don't want to risk anything on my phone. So and, got it. Uh, the air condition is on over here, not over there. So, yeah. Okay, so um, what do we start? Yeah, three lines up from the bottom. Three lines up from the bottom. Oh, well, if we could just have in mind um, Rabbi Nathan. Rabbi Nathan, no, yes, he should have Our a we should have a refu shalema. Okay, so Amar of Yitzchak Bar Ada loy hutu pasi birois ela loy lirugal bevo. Like like we've been saying for the last week or so since we started this sugya, that they did not allow this heter of using the the pillars at the ends, right? The double pillars only for oil lirugal bevo. Val tani loy hutu pasi birois ela lugavi behema bevo. We only said it for. For behemoths, my behemoth, so right the way we just said it's oily regolum. Yeah? So my behemoth, behemoth, oily regolum. What is behemoth referring to? That's beha- it's referring to the animals of the oily regolum. Of the oily regolum right? Meaning the people, the humans that were going up to Yerushalayim were not allowed to drink from these things. Only the animals could drink from these things. Oh, come on. That's the way it goes. Aval Adam, but a person. Now we're on to Amad Aleph. Metapis va'ilam, metapis v'yorid. He's got to climb up and climb down. He's got to be able to climb down. Meaning, why should the, a human has the capability of climbing into the well, going down, like climbing it, climbing down into the well, getting himself some water and climbing back up? And it's and normal for a person to do the, to drink in the well while he's in there. Uh, you're right, but no, you're no, you're right. I guess I guess the Gemara assumes it's semi-normal. It's semi-normal, but but. Um, um, no, but, but the guy has the option to build himself an Arab if he doesn't have the climbing capability. Like if it was me, I'd build myself. I'd build myself an Arab. No, no, I wouldn't do he, this. this so why is he not building? So why is he not building an Arab? I don't know. I don't know why. But it's probably difficult. Probably difficult when you're traveling to to have take all your Arab paraphernalia like this. You just have your. Most Arab in the bluffs. That's why he's not building. <laughs> oh, but he, he can't leave it in a storage area in Yerushalayim because he's going there anyway. Listen, all in the regular. Rabbi, I don't even use my own Arab, so at least that much. Yeah, okay. At least I'm an equal opportunity. We're <laughs> not talking about Yerushalayim. We're talking about traveling. No, we're talking to about Yerushalayim. on the way. It's, it's, on, it's, the way. it's on the way to Yerushalayim, not in Yerushalayim itself. Why don't we say Kiman Jehutra, or this is just because it's a special dispensation that it makes it easier to apply? You mean, you mean why, why don't we say why once you're being matter? Because Jehutra, yeah. You're saying it's just it's just its own unique thing? Yeah, that's what it's saying. Now, we did ha- we're going to have that, though. We will have that in the next couple of lot, um, where we're going, because it's mutter, but I don't think we say it for the animals. We say it for something else. I don't remember. It'll Meaning, like, up. what... I guess what I'm asking is, why does it matter to the abundant? Once you're allowing it to be used, it's uh, we're not worried that they're gonna like go out from a shusayachet to a That's not what we're worried about. So why, once we allow it to be used, to allow it to be vaiter used, the same idea that we see in the Torah. They only does it want matter? to. They only want to help the Oli Regalim because it's very hard. They're traveling from who knows where to come. Fine. So let the Oli Regalim have have everybody- water. Then everybody in Lawrence is going to say, well, just the older ago, am I using it? What about me? I pay taxes here in Lawrence. Why well, let me use it too? Uh, there's no Lawrence people in Eretz Israel. I don't know what that means. That's not a good one. That's not a spark. Right. The Lawrence people are the ones making, are being oil regal. That's the truth. Right. <laughs> back then too. Yeah. And, and they don't have to go into backyards to get water either. But that's not the point. Yeah, no, they, no, they would hire somebody to climb down the well to get it. Maybe that's a shot, right? You, you, you hire the guy to go down there and get it. No, but uh, 
I think the pshat is, is your classic case that those that have a shasat chak, we matter things for. If you don't have shasat chak, we don't matter for you. But, but going down into well is pretty shasat chak also. I'm just so saying, that, like, it, it, once you're coming out this far, we tell you meaning once you have a zasvar, why, do you, why are we going to force them to go ahead and go into the well, well to drink? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no, right, there's so nothing that there's to, there is to worry about by allowing them to drink water from the well. Right, so that's really what David is asking. Like, but that's a little, is that a normal thing to do? It sounds like it's almost normal. Well, it's the only, isn't the whole purpose because that's the only way they are able to do it without uh, uh, going from one resource to the next? What, to climb down? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. They're avoiding, they're avoiding going from the, to another resource. So if that's what the way they could but drink, they're saying, so that's they're what they're asking, doing. Is that, a normal, is that a normal thing to do? I know I wouldn't Not normal, but under the circumstances, that's the, what's the alternative to make an Arab? So you don't want to make an Arab, so jump in. I guess, yeah, that's, you know? that's what you have to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't okay. the whole passe be right that that for Rishos Abim? Rishos what? Rishos Arabim? It is right, Rishos Arabim, right? Yeah, so what are you saying? I'm just trying to picture it. Today is even Kvish Echad Rishos Arabim? That you're asking Stam, you're getting involved in what's in Rosh Hashanah and what's not Rosh Hashanah. So you want to say that it's a riot, that you don't need 600,000 people. Is this a riot that you don't need 600,000 people? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, so that's, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that, that, would be a, that would be a riot. Yeah, very good. So, Aini, it's not true. Right, we only allowed Pasibi Rois for Ber Mayim Chaim, meaning it has to be. Um, Spring water, but not for rainwater. And if you're mattering of Rebbeimah, Mali Chaim, Mali Mali Michonos, and what's the difference if it's if it's uh, spring water or what's what's the difference? Does Michonos mean it's gathered? It's gathered water. That makes sense. Uh, for humans to drink that? What? Or the no, for for humans. Humans don't drink gathered water. No, it's it's not as I think it's not as good, right? Right. So anyway, so Gemara answers, No, we need, so this is Akiva will make the, your question stronger. We need something that's fitting for a person, right? So meaning we're saying now, the water has to be fitting for a human to drink, which means it's well water, but the human can't, can't go, can't use this pot. Meaning these Pase Birois is a heter for animals, but it only works for for water that's fit for human consumption, not for animal consumption, right? So it's, it's interesting that we're still going to use that gather of that it has to be fitting for humans, even though the human can't use this, this cooler that the Chachavim said, right? They, can, they have to climb down into the well to get their, to get their drinks. Okay. So, Kufa, lo yotru pasibi roiz elo behema bavad. We only allow pasibi roiz for behema al the metavas, al the metavas, the person has to climb down and climb up. I'm sorry, climb up and climb down. That's interesting. It should be the other way, no? But it means it must be an up. I think what it means is up over the wall and then down the wall. Yeah, like a lid. Right? There's a lid. Yeah, it must be right. It must be you have to climb that up and then climb back down. And if, if now see, this, is, this answers also the question that the island was asking. If the walls are too wide, so now the person can't, basically the way Rashi explains going, going up and going down the well is that you ever see those kids that climb in the doorways, right? They put one leg on one edge of the door and one on the other, and they climb up that way. So that's basically what you're doing. But what happens if the doorway is too wide? So now the human can't get down to the water either. Right? And if it's, they're too wide, then even a person can also, because he has no other way to get water. And a person should not fill up water and put it in front of his behemoth. Right? So a human... You can bring your animal over to the well to drink, but you shouldn't fill up a bucket and put it in front of the animal. All you should do is take the bucket and spill it, right? And then it'll drink by itself. So, if that's what you're saying, what do you need the pasibiroz for? Right? So, what do you mean? So, the, meaning if you can't hold the bucket in front of the animal, so what is the pasib for? So, where it says, what do you mean? At least you need it. Otherwise, you won't be able to take the water even out of the well. Right? right, so what is it helping for? Right, um, 
for the head of the um, well, this is a, really, it's an answer, but it's really a question. Right? Um, if you're going to say, that, meaning, why do, you need the, why do you need the head and the body of the animal in there if, if you're just spilling the water on the floor, right? We're saying you want to make sure the head and the, the, head and the body is in, that was yesterday's daf, right? Why do you need it for? If you're spilling the water on the floor, so what, there's no cheshat, meaning the reason why we said you have to put a, the body and the head inside the, the, has to fit inside these, these lefties is why? Because we're afraid you're going to carry the bucket out of Rosh Hashanah. But if you're pouring the water on the floor, so what's the concern? So Amar Abaya, Are you pouring it on the floor or in the trough? What? You're pouring it on the floor or in the trough? I think either one. No? You think it's the trough? Yesterday's case, well, I, I, yeah, but it doesn't mean, I don't think it means it has to be an official, I think the, at least with the Gemara's thinking now, I don't think it has to be like an official trough that's above 10 and wider than four, like we were about if, to say. If the Gemara wanted to say a trough, it would say a trough. Well, it, what? Okay, but it has, meaning the point is it has to be some sort of hole. Otherwise, how's the animal going to drink it? They also, they also told you to jump down a well to go get a drink of water. I don't know how <laughs> practical all this is. Okay, that could be. That could be. But it's I mean, trough, it, was, it was probably practical. It was probably practical for them. We don't go into wells. Right. But it was right. probably practical for them. They probably, it wasn't such a big deal for them. So I mean, most right. Jews from the time of the Migdish were in six foot five, 300 pound Vikings. They were able to jump down into a hole. Oh, right. That's, I guess. Yeah. I'd be able to get oh. down. I wouldn't be able to get up, though. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, uh, yeah. So that's uh, a So I know I think it has to go into some sort of trough, but it's not the trough that the Gemara is about to say that it is. Right? Meaning until now, we're talking about a trough that wasn't that size. Now we're talking about, like we said yesterday, Zomer, right? yesterday's daft, that it was... And Avos, it's a trough that's in Rosh Hashanah, higher than 10, wider than 4, for Rosh Nichols Ben Apasin, etc., etc. Right? So therefore, and then we're afraid that you're going to take the can and it's going to break and the, the trough is going to break and you're going to end up carrying it. That's why, that's why you need this whole thing. The Gemara doesn't say, doesn't continue with it because the assumption is that our memories last for about a day. <laughs> that's, what it's, that's what it seems. Yeah? Fine. So Amarav, you're Amarav. Ain't not as a new subject. Well, Burgan, we discussed once before, but basically we had said, well, it was in Shabbos, wasn't in Erev. Right? We had said that you're allowed to tell somebody that you're, you're going to Florida on Shabbos. You know, you could tell somebody on Shabbos afternoon that you're going down to Florida after Shabbos. Why? Because theoretically, every 70 Amas, you can build yourself a little, uh, a little uh, house that would extend the boundaries of your city. And the male of Florida would end up being in the Tchum. As impractical as that is, Simon, right? That's really impractical, right? But theoretically, you could do it. So therefore, we would, you would be able to do it. So that's what Burgenen was basically a way to extend the Tchum of a city. Normally, you get 2,000 Amas. But if you take a Burgenen and you put it every 70 Amas or so, and you keep putting Burgenen every 70 Amas, you'll be able to extend your Tchum very much. So we're saying that you can't do this Bergen and Shtick in Bavel, and there was no Pasibiroyas in Chutzlaritz. So again, there's, there's two things. There's, well, Bavel is Chutzlaritz, right? So there's Bavel, and then there's Chutzlaritz. Right? So there's three levels. There's Eretz Yisrael, then there's Bavel, then there's Chutzlaritz. So we're saying Bergen, in, you couldn't do in Bavel, and you couldn't do these Pasibiroyas in Chutzlaritz. Bergen in Bavel, right? You can't, you can't do it. The Shrichi Badki. Bitki, I'm sorry, because there's common that there's flooding. So since there's flooding, people would not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not practical to put these little huts because they're not going to survive. And if they don't survive, then obviously it's not going to work to extend your trum. There's no yeshivas there, right? Um, yeah, so since there's no yeshivas there, nobody was traveling back and forth to the yeshivas, right? So therefore, um, did, then it wouldn't be. What? What is, what is Yeshiva to do that? Well, no, because of people that are traveling back and forth. It's a stroll. But it's only for the regular. What does Yeshiva have to do with it? 
Did this no, smarter no, no, change no, no, in no, Europe right, 80 no, years no. ago? What'd you say? What'd you say? Did this smarter change in Europe much 80 years ago? There weren't Masifta. Yeah, what do you say? What do you mean? You mean you want to call it? Well, I don't understand what you're saying. People travel to Yeshiva. Yeah. No, so what are you saying? So yes, when so it says, it's low, right. Maybe now it is. Oh, you mean now you want to say it changes? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't drink from wells. Well, that's another. Well, you, see straight down, you just take bottled water with right. you, right? But, uh, um, didn't we say that? The 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 yes. I was I was looking at this Gemara, so I'm wondering if this is a raya pro or con that we can ask the government to do things, special accommodations for our religion, like the Arab and all these things, because they're in this is this is Irish Israel, and they're building these things. Who says the government wants them to build these uh, little butkas every seventy amas outside of the city, like? So I'm right. using it maybe as a right. We, we're not out of line asking for special favors. Ah, yeah, interesting. That's interesting. You mean they tried? They had to get. They, yeah, I hear. Yeah, I mean, what, yeah. What, <laughs> right. Yeah, very good, very good. So, anyways, so to answer Naftali's question, is on, it's only oily regalim, right? These are these are not oily regalim, right? It's mashma that if there would be yeshivas, we would allow it, right? So that's that's what she said. Article's footnote says, for the benefit of, of Ole Regalim or others on their way to perform a mitzvah. Correct, right. Very, yeah, that's what Rashi says. Yeah, very good. So Rashi says, mm-hmm. For Ole Regalim and those similar to Ole Regalim that are going for a Dvar Mitzvah. Like it's a, a businessman right? to support his family is not a mitzvah? It is a mitzvah. By the way, it is a mitzvah. Okay. You hear, did you hear Naftali's question? He says, what about a guy going to earn a Parnassah is not a mitzvah? We pass Mishnah Bura Paskins that going to earn a Parnassa is a mitzvah. What does it have to do with Shabbos? No, he's saying no, he's saying that if they're if you go you're traveling over Shabbos to go to get a Parnassa, is that not a mitzvah? And then you can't use the Pasi Birois. So that's what he's asking. So you're right. saying we can go to Vegas to the trade shows? Didn't say that. I was just say. I'm joking. <laughs> well, Grad, I would tell you you could, but I'm just saying. <laughs> If you go, if you keep your eyes in the right place, but I'm just saying, but uh, anyway, yeah, it's a mitzvah to go to a trade show if necessary. is a mitzvah. To earn a living is a mitzvah, yes. I don't remember where the Mishnah Buddha says it, but he says it. So why does it say yeshiva guys here? No, but there were no yeshivas then. There were no yeshivas. But there were people. I, I imagine there were people that tried. I don't know. But also, what does then? Wasn't, and, but the yeshiva bachan were traveling with animals? Right? Didn't we say it's only animals? Right. Like From here, it sounds like that the that the humans also used it. No, this bother this question bother anybody? Didn't they travel? Oh, uh, they needed to eat. They brought their animals with. Is that so? The yeshiva bachan brought the animals with them. They, had to, they didn't walk. They brought an animal. I listen. I know certain yeshivas. You know that everybody brings their nice cars to yeshiva. <laughs> right? There's many, there's many yeshivas like that around here. But I don't know if the regular yeshiva guys are doing that. But they travel with right? the horses. Like parrots, if you would have parrots. Yeah. I don't know. Parrots, would you have gone anywhere without your cow? You know, parrots goes with, with dead cows, not live right. cows. Parrots and cows don't need water. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, anyway, so I think a month, maybe, I don't know, I'm just thinking very simply, maybe the wells were very wide, so then it was built there for the humans too. They couldn't climb down there. Or do you say the yeshiva guys were shvach and they had no capabilities of climbing down? I could hear that one too, right? Okay, whatever it is. That's, that's what we're saying. But the opposite, we do. The opposite you could do, meaning um, the making these burgenin in Bavel and in Chutz Laretz and, and the Pasibirois in Bavel. Ikadami, the other way. Amrav, Yirav, Amrav. In burgenin and Pasibirois, Lebe Bavel, Lebe Chutz Laretz. There's no Burgenin and Pasibirois, not in Babel, not in Chutzlar. It's Burgenin and Babel, Loi, the Shriki Pitki. And Burgenin and Babel, you know, because there was these floods that were common. But Chutzlar, it's Nami, Loi, the Shriki Ganvi. And Chutzlar, it's also not because there was Ganovim there. They were just going to rip off the, the huts, anyways. Pasibirois, Babel, Loi, the Shriki Maya. 
In, in Babel, you didn't need to do these passive rice because there was plenty of water in Babel. The Chutzlar, it's not me, the Lashkikim was sifta, and Chutzlar, it's also not because they did not have yeshivas in Chutzlar. Okay. So, Amr of Chistel, Lamari, Brede, Ravuna, Brede, Rav Yirmi, Baraba, Amri, Asisu, Mibarnish, Lave, Knishta, the Daniel. Go from this town, right, um, called Barnish, to the base of Knesset of Daniel. Right? Um, yeah, so, so um, people, I guess. Can I, can I ask you something? Yeah. These Borgenim, did they have to be set up by uh, by Jews or could they have been set up no. by the government? No, anybody. Right? No, the government. Anybody. Because, because well, you can you even see them in Eretz Yisrael. When you're driving outside of Yerush Lime going towards Beit Shemesh, you see like those uh, the roadside the roadside stops that eventually became businesses. But but governments would set these things up. I don't know if at, at what distances or whatever. They'd set these things up for for trading, for all these things. So maybe they created something around a well or whatever it was. That sounds, okay, maybe, maybe I could hear that. That's, that's very possible. Yeah, I would think so. Um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so they came from Barnish, right? They used to go travel to the base of Knesset of Daniel, right? So you see back then also they did these things that you travel, go Davin and the shul where Daniel Davin and schoolers, I'm sure there were ads in the paper, this and that, whatever, right? Yes, they have a Tlusa Parsi, uh, they It was three Parsis away on Shabbos. Now, Parsa is way, way more than uh, Tchum. Tchum is 2,000 Amas. So Parsa is is 8,000 Amas. So, am I? The Parsa is equivalent to 4 million. Yeah. Mil is 2,000 Amas. Right, so that's it. Am I? So then we say, well, am I some So, what do they rely on? Right, Aburganin. Yeah, on on the Borgenin. Didn't we say that there's no Borgenin in Bavel? Daniel was in Bavel, right? So Nafak Vachvile went out and showed him Hanu Hanu Masvasa. He went and showed him um, the um, Rashi says the cities that are destroyed, right? The Mivlon B'Shivim Avish Raim that they were all Mivlon means literally means absorbed. Um, they this town stretched it out. All these houses of this destroyed town were within 70 yamas of each other, and that extended the tchum all the way out to this base Knesset that Daniel davened in. So therefore, he showed him that there was, it was within the tchum. Without the Borgen. It, was, it wasn't, you didn't need the Borgen. You had, uh, you had this, this, this city that was destroyed. Fine. Now we get into Agatha. Amra am Rav Fista. Tarash me mori bar mar. Right? Look, uh, for every um, for every goal, right? Reisi kets a son end. Rechavim mitzvahs hamayod and the mitzvahs are is very wide. David said, "Amr David v'loy pirshu." David said this, and but he but he didn't explain it. Amru Iyav v'loy pirshu. Iyav said and he didn't explain it. Amru Yecheskel v'loy pirshu. And Yecheskel said it didn't, it wasn't a parashit. Achaba Zechariah ben Idoi, who perished. Until Zechariah Novi came and said, said Pshat. Amr David Velay Pirshu, Dixiv, Lachol, Tichler, Isi, Kates, Rechav, and Mitzvah, Samyoy. Right? He just said it's very, very wide, the Torah. Basically, what this passage is telling you that the Torah is extremely wide and large, right? Amru, I mean, anybody learning Arab could see that. Right, Amru Iyoi Veloi Pirshu Tichsev Arucha Me Erech Mida Ruchavim Mina Yam. Right, it's bigger than the than the the measurement of the of the world, and even bigger than the than the oceans than the seas. That's the way Iyav said it. Amru Yecheskel Veloi Pirshu Tichsev A Yifrois Oisa Lefonai Veiksuva Panim Veacher Vekasa Veloi Kinim Vehege Vehi. Right, he 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 spread it out. A Yifrois doesn't mean he spread it out. Right in front of me, with what? What did he spread out? He spread out the uh, the Torah, right, and uh, and it was written in it, panim ba'achar, inside and outside, um, and it was in it kinim like kinis and vehege, and and happiness vehe, right? And hey is is bad, it's sadness. So kinim zuperoni is shol tzadik and boilam azeh. Kinim is referring to the punishment. I don't know how do you touch peronius. Peronius is like, it's not punishment, it's a uh, uh, psorus, I guess, but that's not a real good Hardship. Hardship. 
Hard, okay, good, good. Thank you. Hardships right. shall tzaddikim, right? Hardships of tzaddikim by the mazeb chenu oimer kinehi the kainenu, right? It's a it's a kinas, and and people should talk to be said about it for the tzaddikim that go through that have problems in this world. And Hege is referring to the schar that tzaddikim when they get in the next world, right? Because of the suffering that they had in this world, v'chenu oimer. That's what that stands for. V'chen who Aimer, and that's what it says. Al alai alei higi and bechina, right? With that, this we have in uh, in what do you call? And it's in it's in the halukas. So I think it's does anyone know? You think I would say it every day? I should know, right? Right, bechina Aimer, al alei higi and bechina, right? With with uh, singing with a kina, right? The hey zuhi parani shal b'shoim lasid lovin, and the hey is referring to the punishment of the Rishon, not in the, on this world, in the next world. Right? Bad things, are bad things are going to happen. That's the meaning. So that was the first three, and they didn't exactly explain how big the Torah is. And he explained it. What do you see? He said to me, what do you see? Right? I see a fold in Megillah. Its length is 20 amas. And it's, and it's 10 amas wide. And when you stretch it out, meaning because this that's when it was folded over. When you unfold it, it's 20 by 20. And it says, It's written in the front and the back. When you peel it, right? When kama havila, arbon beas, and then it's forty by twenty. Oksiv mi modad b'shalei ma'im b'shamayim b'zeras tikein, right? Who measured with his hand the 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 oceans and the sky b'zeras, right? We had a zeras before, no? A zeras is a uh, is a uh, the width of the, we had it between the finger and the, no, like this, wasn't it? It was like this, right? Like this, yeah? Um, yeah? So basically, what he's saying is, Nimta, the whole world is made out of one thirty-two hundredth of the Torah. Meaning that the Torah is, 3,000, I th- hope I'm saying this correctly, right? It's the Torah is 3,200 times bigger than the world, right? There's two, um, um, Rashi says it's a pot of, of figs, right? Um, that are prepared in front of the Hechel of Hashem, Right, so hadur echot teinim tovis moed kateini. One one is filled with good good figs, right? And the am now to am bays. Um, I'm sorry, I skipped the word at the end. No, I don't think there was a pasuk in the Yizam. I think it was in the Tovis. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, and the tovis moed kateini. I'm sorry, kateini habikuras. Right, it's like the good, the fresh, the new figs, right? And the other, the other pot had bad figs. That you can't eat them because they're meirua because they're so bad. The good figs is a marshal for tzadikim gemurim. That's referring to the rishon gemurim. Rishem atayimer aved sar sivram uvato sikuyim. So you would think that it's there's uh, it's everything. It's it's bottle that's for the tzadikim. It's hopeless. I guess that would be the way to say it's hopeless. That they give out a smell. Both are going to end up giving out a good smell. Right? Um, yeah, so basically, okay, we, didn't, we weren't Ayman on the Son of Aleph, but that's your classic why do good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. Right? That was basically what the Gemara was saying on Amad Aleph. Right, a tzaddikim have the Puranis in this world, and in the next world's better. And the Rishayim are having the Puranis, are having the happiness in this world, and the next world's when they're going to get punished. Okay, it's a heavy duty, uh, 
So how do you do the thing? Fine. So Dara Shabbat. My Gustav, what is it saying? How do daim nasn reach? What do you mean by the do daim give off reach? Now do daim here. Till now we was teaching the do daim as pots. Now we're back to do daim as flowers, right? You had to do daim in in Bereishis, right? Elu bachuri Yisrael shalaytamu tamchet. This is referring to the bachurim of Klal Yisrael that are not that were not taim a tam of chet, right? They're innocent, meaning that's referring to the innocent bachurim who who don't know from all the stupidities in the world. Val peschenu kol megadim, and on the, our openings is as megadim is good things. Elu benoisi sorshem adidas peschen lebalem that they tell over their openings to their husbands, meaning when they when they become aser al tzmida. They tell their husbands that they're also. So that's Megidas Pischei and Lebaleim. They, they close their opening. Lishna Achrina Sha'aigdas Pischei and Lebaleim. I'm sorry. Shemagidas Pischei and Lebaleim. I mixed it up. Right? Um, I think that they tell the, the first child that they tell their husbands that they're open now, meaning that they're seeing down. So therefore they're also. Lishna Achrina Sha'aigdas Pischei and Lebaleim. Sha'aigdas. That they, from the word Aguda, they tie it up. Right? That they don't... Um, they're not mezana. They're not mezana to anybody. Right? They keep themselves closed, and they're only for their husbands. Fine. Chadashim gam yishanim. Right. So we say chadashim gam yishanim doidit sefantilach. This is the end of that pasuk. So new ones and also old ones. Right. Doidi is doidit uh, sefantilach. I've been uh, hidden for you. Amr kras yisrael l'pnei kadosh baruch hu b'nisham harbe gzeres gazarti al atzmi yoisim imach gazarti al live v'kayamtim. Right, um, Rabban, we did this a little bit this morning. How difficult it is the Torah. So this line made the stems of this. It's saying, Klai is telling Rabban Shalom, you gave us so many mitzvahs, and we piled it on ourselves. We have so many surah de Rabbanon, right? We we made way way more than than, yeah. uh, and we kept them, right? That's what that's what that pasuk means. So I'm going to Rav Chista the Rabbanon to have a kamesad or a god to come. Right? So Rav Chista told that person who was the Rabbanon who was being who was putting the, uh, you know, the Agadatas in, uh, in front of him, meaning he was uh, teaching the Agadatas. Did you hear a pshat? Because he was saying over the Agadatas. They said, Do you hear a pshat that it's, that it's what, what it refers to as Chadosh and Gam Yishonim? Amalei, Elu Mitzvah's Kalis, Elu Mitzvah's Chamurus. That's referring to easy mitzvahs and, and harder mitzvahs. Amalei, Vichitari, Pahamim, um, Palm and palm and nitna. Um, was the Torah given, you know, piecemeal? Right? Meaning you're saying that there's new mitzvahs and there's old mitzvahs. And it was all given at the same time. What it means is that the old ones are the Isuri Daraisa. The new ones are the Isuri Darabonon. Right? So basically the same. Sort of the Reminds same me thing. of the Belzer Rebbe. The who? The Belzer Rebbe, the Sar Shalom, I believe. And yeah. in his Haggadah, before Vihisha Amda, um, we, it says, Machasan is a matzvah, Magbian is a kais, the Aymen, Vihisha Amda, right? That's what every Haggadah says. Right. And the Sarshalom's Haggadah, on top of Machasan is a matzvah, it said, Shehuma de Raisa. On top of Magbian is a kais, it said, Shehuma de Rabbana. So the Hasidim answered, What does that mean? So he I... said, this this Knesset Yisrael, this Knesset Gedayla, that we're telling the Rabbi Nishalaylam, not just your mitzvahs in the Torah, but it's the fact that you, we kept so stark all the mitzvahs, the Rabbanans, that is She'amda, Lavei Seinu Velanu. Ah, interesting. So it's Mamash from this Gemara. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good, very good. Yeah, so that's what it is, that we're keeping the Rabbanans more, even more yeah, more than one. So, uh, I would love for somebody to repeat it without being frozen halfway through. You just have to listen, not watch him. <laughs> and basically, he's saying that, you know, when it says you pick up the kais, when you pick up the kais, you know, before he showed that it says you cover over the matzahs and you pick up the kais. So, in the Belzareva's uh, Haggadah, it said you cover over the matzahs, which is, that's what you said, which is the Daraisa, right. Right. and yeah. then you pick up the kais, which is the Rabbana. So the chassidim asked him, "What's a pshat?" Right. So, he's, so yeah. So that's what he's saying. So basically, what he's saying is from this gemara that there's a there's a chavivas to doing a mitzvah the rabbanon. It's even more than a mitzvah the and not more than a mitzvah the raisa. But well, truth is the next line in the gemara maybe. Let's see the next line in the gemara. Very good. Yeah. So very good. Thank you. So darashah my dechsev. 
You have to be more careful with these, right? With ma making many swarm. What does that mean? Bnei Yisrael be different. Only Rav Yosef. What? Only Rav Yosef. What are you talking about? Where are you? Three wide lines down. I don't think I skipped. I skipped. I think so. No, we didn't. We did that. Nope. Three, okay. three wide lines down. Don't show my decision. Yosef be him a bnei Yisrael as his farm harbei bnei. He's already be different side from Yosem be different Torah. You should be careful from the Rabbanans more than the Raisa. Should different Torah Yesh ben Asay v'Leisa say, because the Raisas have you have a positive and you have a negative. The different side from Kala Iver or different side from Chayiv Misa. Anybody who's Iver on the Rabbanon is Chayiv Misa, which we had in Shabbos already, because that pasuk, right, is a pirates gather Yishchanu Nachos. Somebody who knocks down a fence. What the Rabbanon did. As they built up fences around to make sure we're not over another Yisurim. So if you knock down the fence, you're going to get bit by a snake. So Shema Taimar, perhaps you're going to say, Im yesh behen mamish, right? Mifnei ma nichtavu. A, a very good sign when you hear this question, right? Well, if the Rabbana was so smart, how come it's not written in the Torah? Right? It's a pretty stark Akasha, right? Am I am I the am I the sheer like kaifer? What's what is going on with these questions? Simon, you're hearing this? Yeah, cause cause because I know you appreciate these questions. That's why. Is this a vote? <laughs> if it's a vote, we'll, we're we're happy to go ahead and vote. <laughs> Simon, I can't, I can't believe I put myself in this position. I, I don't even think we need to call it for a vote. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to uncover such a can of worms. I'm sorry. <laughs> Simon, even your Twitter is laughing. <laughs> Simon, oh, I believe, Simon, for what it's worth, I believe it's a compliment. In my, in my humble opinion, a thinking man is always a good thing. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that bothered, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really do mean it's a compliment. It's because it's you, like, you appreciate a good question. On a, right? It's a good question. I can't say I thought about this question before, but when I saw it before, I saw this Gemara. It's like a good question. If the Rabbanon are so, are so correct in what they did, so why didn't the Torah put it in there? Right? So that's what the Pasuk says by saying that there's going to be no, it is no end to all the books that are going to be written um, on, on the Torah. So the, the Torah, see, the way I understand this is that the Torah wanted to give us the opportunity to write, write all the svarim on all these things. Yes, theoretically, the Torah could have implemented it all, but it wanted to leave some of it to, or a lot of it to us. And let me tell you, yeah. this svarim till N. Cates, that's for sure. Well, I do are, I, now, but is that, the, isn't that the whole argument, whether their uh, bunans are going to stick around after Mashiach? Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess. Ooh, I, I who is? Who is that? What are you making like a basic question? Who is that? Who cares? <laughs> what do you mean? Who cares what's going to be? Yeah, but what, 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 what's the difference? When the Gemara discusses what happens by Mashiach. I guess we should just tell the Gemara to stop worrying about it. The Gemara to worry about it, not me, because I'm not a Oh, so I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I'll just rip out. out those pages in the Gemara that discuss it, <laughs> because we don't have to, to worry about, about it. But I'm, what, what, what am I throwing my opinion of what's going to be when Mashiach comes? Yeah. Listen. Is no mean, one, but if, we're so worried about what's happening in the future. We're trying to figure out where we're going to dive in for Rosh Hashanah, okay? Rev Aaron, Rev Aaron, <laughs> stop worrying about what's in the future. You, can't, you, you, you don't know what's happening in the future. In the I'm past, not, though. The Torah is not worried about it. The Gemara is, maybe you should worry about it, maybe just a little bit. No, I don't want to worry about it. But I feel like this is a, like a cop out almost. Like, yeah, the rabbis are going to like write a whole bunch of books on, on the subject. So, like, don't worry about it. Like, what type of answer is that? So, is yeah, there, we is there a Torah about that? Are these the are these there abundant or we're talking about Torah Shaval Ped, the Raisa? From the Rabbanon. Rashi seems to imply we're talking about their, uh, the Torah Shabbat Peh, but they just forgot it and they, they have to dive in different ways and, and you know, it turns into big machoiksim. But they're not right. going to write it down at the beginning. So, how does, it, how does the Gemara even say this? What do you mean? That you what? Meaning, you're not allowed to write, write down Torah Shabbat Peh. No, but, no, but I think it's, I don't think it's, down, no? No, just should I, the way I understand it, that it should have been Torah Shabbat Peh. It should have been written in the Torah. Then it's Baltosa. No. Then it's Baltosa. No? 
No, if the, Torah, if, the word, if the Torah would have been the one to tell us about it. The, so the Torah is missing something? The Torah is not, perfect, not, not complete by itself? That's, no, so that's, yeah, that's what it's saying. Yeah, that the Torah left, yes, the Torah gave so it to no us. there's no Israel Tosef anymore. Well, how do you want to know? No, no, no. I mean, no, so good. So I hear what you're saying, but then how do you understand any Gzeir of the Rabbonim? Why is that the, not Well, it's a good question, because the Rabbonim also talks about this. I actually have to, I went to talk about today about this. The Rambam talks about this specifically. So he uh, says, the Rambam says that it's a, it's a siyad. And it's, it's, firstly, well, whatever, how to understand the Rambam in general, but, but, but he says that, that in terms of, you know, in terms of, um, of Baltosif, it's like the Rambam has the leeway, leeway to say that, you know, something is either usr or mutter, or something that is mutter now is usr for a little bit of time. But they're not right. getting on to the collective siyad. You know, it's still, they're not changing the essence of the mitzvah. I hear. No, these I are all the so These are not added on. Right, so right. So, no, but that's oh, what meaning. But why did the, the but, not, but, but again, again, there's a Dura Bonham. Again, there's not a Dura Right there. Correct, but that, but that's with the, 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 you could ask a question. If the, if the Torah wanted you to build this together, so why didn't the Torah build this together? Why do I need the Rabbanon to do it? Are we the talking about, be. we're not talking about Gedorim here. We're talking about Torah Shabbat, which is the Dura That was given at Harsin also. We're talking about both, I think. Rashi implies we're talking about Teresh Shabbat Peh. Which Why could include the Rabbanon. Which, Rashi, which Rashi, Rashi, says, Rashi are you saying? Rashi says, Yosher Mehim is talking, it, 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 the, the, the Pasuk Shabbat teaches not only Teresh Shabbat Peh, but even Teresh Shabbat Peh, which includes the Raisas. Not just Siyogs. Includes the Raisas yes, that the Rabbanon okay, died. Right, 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 right. Correct, but I mean, it's anything that's not Beferish. Right? Fine, but it's not just Siyogs. We're talking about Teresh Shabbat Peh, which is the Raisas also. That they're abundant with darshaning on. I'm saying, look, right? No, you're right. Look at the top toys. This also, I'm name on loy nichtavu. The gamba halacha l'moshe misinai loy nitnu kedesh loy yishtakhu. Right? There's also halacha l'moshe misinai. Is that right? Uh, so we're talking about the races. The Gemara is asking why, why, why was Torah Shabbat not written down? The whole Torah Shabbat, not just the siyags. Yeah. Not just the gdarim. The Torah. The, the Gemara is asking, be a side. Why do we have Torah Shabbat? And a chanami, right? Exactly. Right. But most of the Torah Shabbat has the Rabbon, or no? No, I think. I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Whatever it is. I but mean, the, the, the 39 Malachas are, 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 are written in the Torah? No. So that's, that, 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 that's not right. That's I'm saying those are all there. There's 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 nothing. There's you're right. You're 100% right. There's they nothing. They all come from Nahara. Don't they? What are you saying? Don't they all come from the... The is, uh, is an actual puzzle. Yeah, it's true, but it's the right? without, Yeah, but it doesn't have an induction. The other is from other stuff. That's still so so I hear. So without Torah Shabbat, we wouldn't know what the. It's not written outright. Yeah, right. Right. There's, there's nothing. There's still an issue to write down Torah Shabbat. So how is the Gemara saying that all these Torahs that are being written, if at this point you're not allowed to write down Torah Shabbat? Well, a second. What's that? Who says at this point you couldn't write down the Torah Shabbat? Wait. You mean the Pasik? In general, you, mean, wasn't there? you want to say that this is a possible? You're saying this is a possible? This is a possible. After the fact, Ravina and Ravashi compiled the Gemara after everything, right? Right. No. No. Even no. Then no. Read down Mishnah, right. Right. So correct. What are they correct. Talking about? If this is all a compilation of all their conversations, right? Then what are they talking about? Right. Right. How is it possible that they could even say, "Oh, it's all the Svarim that are going to be written from Parashat Baltet"? What do you mean? You're not allowed to write it down to begin with. The, Torah, the, the Pasuk is explaining why there is an Indian of Torah Shabbat Peh. What is Pshat and Torah Shabbat Peh? That's what the Pasuk is coming to but explain to us. No, but when I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. This is Mashma. Uri, what you're saying, you're saying is that it's Mashma from here that why they start writing down Torah Shabbat Peh because it was an Ace Lasis Lashem, right? Correct. That, so you're saying that this Pasuk infers that but way before it was the Ace Asis Hashem that there's going to be so there's going to be writing down the of Torah Shabbat Peh, correct? I hear, I hear. That's a good point. I, you hear, I hear what he's saying. Meaning, that with, really, Torah Shabbat was not supposed to be written down. Then it was the Ace Asis Hashem. Rebbe decided it's going to be written down. Even though, so if you go from the Amirayim, this was after already. So then that's fine. But the Pasuk Lamaisa infers that this Svarim is going to be written, right? Unless you say Svarim is just a, is just a mushal, it doesn't really literally mean Svarim. I don't know. I don't know. I hear it. that's a good point. Okay, let's so, we're getting it. Yeah, then then why the whole conversation about, about being ushered to write down to write down stuff to, to, to record Tyra? 
And Achon Amnon, that's what he's asking, right? It sounds like from the Pasuk, it sounds like you'd be able to write, right? No, no, I'm saying, so why does the Gemara have the question about, about an Isser of writing, of recording Tyra? And Achon Amnon, right, that's what he's asking. That's what he's asking. I think that it doesn't say it, it doesn't say it, but fair, it's just, it's just, it's just an inference that that's what's going to be. I don't know, Billy Nado, I'll try and look, uh, I'll try and look into this. It's a, uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, okay, who good. could decide when the time was? Maybe... The right. Torah wanted right. you to be smart forever and not write it down. Right, so right, right. right. Who says when it was? Like... Yeah. Yeah. I... This this pasuk is not a slas Hashem. Look at the last the last two line Rashi, the big one, the corner. Right. Right. So what... in the pasuk is that it's not written bedavka, not in order for us to write it. Because there is no end. Yeah, but what I mean, there, so there is no end, Zomamela. That's why there's no, it's not written. The Rebbe Hashem didn't want to give us an, 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 a, a physically infinite Tyra. Tyra is infinite. Right. Mamele couldn't be written. So the Rebbe Hashem decided what to write. Chamesha Chamesha Tyra, that was written. Well, one of the one of the others weren't they supposed to uh, reveal it and the rebellion should stop them? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know how you how you fit all this into to uh, to all these gemaras. I don't know. I don't know. It needs it needs uh, it needs a big husband. <laughs> I don't understand this stuff enough. I'm sorry, but uh, if anybody wants to say chabur on it, I'll gladly listen. Um, yeah, no, it's a good question. It's all good questions. Okay, let's see a little bit. Vilahag harba yigiyas basar, right? And you're going to do a lot of harba yigiyas. You're going to work very hard. Um, uh, the, your meat, your flesh, your meat is going to work very hard. Amar apavar, so what does that mean? Amar apavar, pray the ravacha barada, b'shmei the ravacha barula, melamet shekolam malik al divrei chachamim, nidain, so what just teaches you is that anybody who laughs at the Chachamim's words is going to um, um, boil in a, in, in uh, what do you call it, soya, in, in waste. He's going to boil up, he's going to boil in waste, right? So I don't, I guess what the Pshad is, is that Basar must mean waste. Otherwise, I don't know exactly how you get from Basar from flesh, from meat to waste. Okay. So Maskul Rava, Miksiv Lag, it doesn't say Lag, Lahag, Ksiv. Lag means to learn. El Akola Haigaban Toyim Tam Basar. Ah, parrots. You hear this one? Anybody who works over Divri Chachamim, then he's Toyim Tam Basar. So it must be that parrots clearly learns about a lot of a lot of the Rabbonans, right? Yeah? Um, so therefore it's going to be Kishmak like meat. So fine. So Torah Bonam. My Sabra Vikiva Shay Khabish Besa Surin. There was a story of Kiva was in jail. Vahi Rabbi Shua Hagarsi Mesharsai. Right? He Rabbi Shua Hagarsi. I guess that's not the regular Rabbi Yeshua. Right? So Bakhoyam Bayam Hay Machisala Mayim Bemida. He used to bring him uh, water to the jail. Yoy Mechan Matsu Shaimir Besa Ha Surim, right? Um one day the Shaimir Besa Surim um uh, found him. Today you seem to be bringing much uh, more water than normal. Maybe the reason why you want so much water is so you could dig out, meaning you soften up the dirt and you're going to end up digging out from the jail. So he spilled out half the water and they gave him back. He gave Rabbi Shua back the water to give to Rabbi Kiva. So Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Yeshua, don't you know that I'm an old person? And my life is totally in your life. Yeah. So then he told him what happened that he that he's bringing such such little water. Give me the water so I can wash my hands. That you're not even going to reach enough to drink. And you're gonna you're gonna um, you're gonna use it to wash your hands, right? What should I do? Right, um, that I'm gonna be chayav misa because if you ever another rabbi, you chayav misa. Mutav emos misas atmi. I'd rather die on my own. V'lo ever al das havera that I shouldn't be over on the das of my friends. 
which is a very interesting Gemara here. So basically, Rabbi Kiva is saying that the, my friends are Chacham were Masakin, that you got to wash your hands. So I'd rather do that to keep my keep the Takana from my friends than... Uh, Didn't they have, you can wipe it on something? What? Didn't they have other ways to wipe it on stuff? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, Right, but the point is... I mean, Kiva didn't know as much as you, Naftali. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, but the point is, is, it's interesting to be over on Das Chaveray. It's mashma that he himself would have, would not have washed his hands. Right? Meaning he's, he is giving in to what his Chaveray was saying. Right? Which is interesting. So, yeah. So, I mean, you see, you got to go with what the what the consensus is, whether you do whether you like it or not. So Amru, so they said like Tom Klumach He didn't taste anything, right? Until until he brought him the water and he washed his hands with it. Because when the Chum heard this, Amru If he was like this when he was old, right? Meaning, if he was putting himself such through such difficulty when he was young, when he was old, so culture can he must have had the strength to do that when he was young. If he did this when he's in jail and he's in a bad situation, when he's not in base then he would for sure that he would uh, he he'd have the kayak. When Shlima um, uh, was Masakin Erevin Erevin and Natila Sidaim, Yotzabaskov Amra, Bini if your heart is smart, then I'm also going to be. And I'm going to answer um, something, uh, um, the people that have any tainas, I mean, I'm going to answer them back. So, right? He says, let's go, come out, come my friend, let's go out to the field, and we'll sleep in the and kvarim uh, in the towns, nashkima lekromim, and we're going to go to the vineyards nira in parcha gefen, and we're going to see if the grapes sprouted. Pasach asmada, yeah, and uh, asmada is once they really get ripe. Henitzu haramaynim, and are the remaynim also grown? And sham etin es daide daide lach. There, I'm going to show my love to you. Right, so that's the pasuk, yeah. Don't don't this one Simon, this one is also for you. This one. Don't judge me like the people that live the, the that the people in the big cities. Yes, and Gezel is stealing there for Arias, promiscuity, or Shwa Shav, and they swear falsely, they swear for no reason, or Shwa Shekhar, and they swear falsely. Nate Hasada. Go out to the fields. Show you the out-of-town places where they're not such hot shots, right? And they're just sitting, sitting and doing what they're supposed to be doing without, without any of the luxuries. That's right? what I'm saying. That's what there I've been you. saying for three years. <laughs> www.movetojewishsouthbend.com so. There you go, Simon. We, we got a plug for you right here. The Chafal of Ahmed Bey's in Erevin. I can focus a big city already. So, yeah, okay, maybe. I think it fits into the Gemara when the Sfasemis was a little boy. So one Shabbos, they sent him from the Ger. He went to stay by, by people in Varsha. So when he came back, he was a little kid, they're seven, eight years old. When he came back, Chesidim said, what did you see in Varsha? So he said, I saw that Leisignoif means a lock. In shot because in, in Ger, nobody was, that needed a lock on their doors. But in the big city, Loy signal, you have to be oh. keeping a lock on the door. Very good. <laughs> that fits right into this Gemara too. 100%, yeah. right? Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah. And I, it's a perfect Gemara for me to learn the day I come back from the country, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyways, so I'll tikri bekfarim, ella bekoifrim. That, nalina bekfarim, so what does it mean? Let's go sleep by the towns. Don't read it, kfarim, right? Ella bekoifrim. Read it by the, the kaifrim, those that deny the kaifrim. So let's um, let me go show you who the people that I put that I gave I made a good ashba on them. and then they went and denied me. Right? That's what he was telling you. They see these people that they have it good and they still deny Hashem. Go up to the vineyards. 
Nira in Parcha Gef and see if the if the 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 grapes have sprouted. Elu Bali Mikra. That's to talking about people that uh, learn Psukim. Pasach Asmader Elu Bali Mishnah. Smother is Bali Mishnah. Hey Natsu Han Reminim Elu Bali Gemara. Reminim is is Gemara. Yeah. Some um. I'm sorry. Sham Etin as Daidi Loch. There I'm going to show. How much I love you. I'm going to show you my covet and uh, and praising the sons and the daughters. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess let's, uh, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, let's stop here. Fine. We have another Amit of Gemara. I got it tomorrow and then we get back to Erevin. Fine. All right. Thank you for all the good Ha'aras tonight. I'm feeling that I'm going to try and look into it, but I'll, I don't think I'm going to get much. It's a hard Sugi Vachkaya for all the Ha'aras. Fine. Sure. All right. Have a good night. Lalatov, please let us know tomorrow what they said on that rabbi call. Oh, I'm not going on the call, but I'll, whatever, I'll find out whatever. Yeah, okay. Let you yeah, have the number? I, it's not. I, this, they worked it out that the island can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I can see I must have been a, a lot of their abundance tonight because uh, I just posted a picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, 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 what's, this, what's this rabbi uh, call about? Corona or something? Yes, Corona. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Yes, they found the solution. Boy, oh, parents, you must have done a lot of the rabbonans with that, man. You must have that's, been, from maybe, Shana, that's from my boy in Yeshiva. Ah, uh, you must have learned a lot. Oh, he nah, must have learned a lot. Hopefully, he's learning a lot. <laughs> Fair.